So here we have a 2011 May uh, Toyota Lang um, uh, Prado, uh, no, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what do you call it, uh, FJ Cruiser, sorry, it is based on a Prado, it's got the same uh, chassis floor, floor pan as the Prado, uh, it's a truly proper off-road vehicle, uh, as is the Prado and all the Land Cruisers. Um, so it's a bit windy, I don't know what it's going to sound like. But, um, just some fant fantastic cars. Um, yeah, um, forget the, the, what they call them, the Defenders or the, the new uh, Land Rovers. Compared to the Land Cruisers, yeah, they're a bit of a joke. Um, and that's my opinion, sorry. Um, so here we have it. This one's got uh, 56,000 miles on the clock. Uh, 90,000 kilometers. It was a grade 4.5, so it's a very clean car. Uh, we've just put the roof rack on uh, today. It's a brand new uh, roof rack. And this one comes with the original. Hello, everybody. Paul here. Sorry to uh, just jump in, but we just want to point out that uh, we've since now bought a set of these aluminium wheels for this vehicle, which will come included with the car. So enjoy the rest of the video. Bye bye. And uh, TRD, 16 inch TRD wheels as well. Um, th those are the three uh, kind of wheels that we have seen at uh, the dealer option. Uh, so we sold them with the 20 inch and with the 17 inch. And I think we've got one with uh, 16 inch TRD. The TRDs, are, they're all available. Uh, the TRDs are, are expensive. They're typically, if you can find them, they're typically over 200,000 yen. Uh, the other ones, the um, the 17-inch uh, and the 20-inch, more in the range of 120,000 uh, yen. Uh, that's just off the top of my head. I mean, these are nice, clean ones, not with good tires. Uh, these ones have these uh, steel wheels, which I think I'm not sure the percentage, but probably 40% or maybe 50% or the ones in the auction that actually come with these wheels. Uh, I think it's because people um, visualize the car as more uh, closer to the original uh, FJ series from the 70s. And so they've kind of kept the look. And if you're doing serious off-roading, you really don't want alloy wheels. So uh, anyway, whatever. Um, most people buy this for looks. Why not? Uh, although, as I've mentioned before, we have one. Uh, at the house in South Africa because when you're dealing with a country where the roads can disappear literally uh, when you're in one of these you don't really mind you just keep going um, this is in the original um, signature voodoo blue which was the color that this car was originally uh, shown I think it was at the Detroit Motor Show was it in 2004 or 5 in the States and this, so this was the signature color and it's a nice color um, yeah, let's look at it. Uh, what other things? This one has a reverse camera, and most importantly of all, this one for those for whom it is important, this has diff lock. This has the diff lock. Uh, we don't get very many. I think this is only the third one we've bought with diff lock. They're hard to um, come by. Uh, the vast majority do not have it, and therefore it also has a track as well. Um, just a lovely car and very, very, very clean condition. And so as I was mentioning, the comes with the steel wheels. Uh, this will come with the car. And um, But if you want the original alloys or dealer option alloys, uh, we can source them at an extra cost. And uh, that can be done. We don't recommend. A lot of these can be seen with flashy... Uh, fancy alloys. I've seen some in the UK for sale. Typically those wheels are not such good quality and they tend to corrode rather badly. We've actually had to throw away a couple of sets recently. They, they just, they, just, they look great, but the, the, the quality is not so good. I'm not sure where they come from, but some probably some Southeast Asian country, uh, whatever as does most stuff these days. Okay, got the uh, 
the spare co cover, the, same, the spare is the same size as the uh, wheels on the car, these are 17 inch uh, uh, rims. Okay, let's have a look inside. And this one has the rear camera, there again that was an option, some of them do, some of them don't. Okay, very clean in the back, it hasn't been used by a builder. <laughs> anybody of that kind. I mean, literally, literally nothing. It's not even a scratch. And of course, all the tools and everything come with the car. And all FJs have rear parking sensors, which is kind of useful on a big car of this size, and the camera as well. And the um, you can access this rear window by putting the key in the lock and turning it clockwise and uh, that releases the window and then you can you have access in the back without opening the door not sure what that's good for maybe if you've got pooch in the back and he wants some air um, while you're doing camping or something and he's you want him in inside the car that can uh, be useful or if you just want to access something quickly from the back without opening the door maybe it's raining Kind of a useful little feature. And uh, anyway, that's the way to do it. You put the key in and turn it clockwise and hold it there for a second or two. Car comes with two two remote keys, two original remote keys. So, um, yeah, you can see, the, I mean, this really is a genuine 4.5. It's a lovely, lovely condition even though it actually came from down south, which uh, we don't buy too many cars from down south, but this one is, whoever had it, took very, very good care of it. Certainly hasn't done any off-roading, and of course the uh, Dropbox file of photographs, uh, numerous photographs will show comprehensive pictures of the underneath, and the underneath is really nice. Very standard, everything is standard about it. I don't think there's anything not standard. A little weak point on these can be the, the aerial mount. They tend to uh, harden and crack. Uh, this one, if it's the original, is fantastic. Either that or we changed it, but I don't think we did. And the, the aerials unscrew and we hide them inside the vehicles. They are hidden inside the vehicles. Oh, the, my neighbor is going to come in with his car. I hope he can get in so I don't have to stop the video. Yeah, he can get in there. <coughs> Mr. Tanaguchi, he lives in the house here. Actually, he's going to be moving. I think we're going to be buying the house. But... Okay, let's take a look. Nice, clean carpet. And... Uh, the seat is perfect, headline's perfect, we apologize to him. Sorry, my son. <laughs> Just saying sorry. Being a bit low. <coughs> Getting in the way of it. Anyway, here we are. So, yep, lovely clean interior. Uh, just a very pleasant car. Oh yeah, I need the key. It's not keyless. You have to, you have to put the cut key in the in the thing. So let's just get the little lights on and turn on the engine. And here we are. All the warning lights go off, except the uh, seat belt. And then I'm just going to put the um, the diff lock. Uh, Push the diff lock button so you'll see that come on. There it is, flashing. There's your diff lock. And uh, as you can see, the different buttons down here. You've got the A track button, the diff lock, the uh, limited slip, the um, traction, sorry, and the rear sensors, the heated front screen. And I'm not sure what this on off button is. I'm not sure what that does. Have to find out. Anyway, there it is. Got a USB slot installed, which is rather nice. 
Um, and these cars come uh, with front and rear fog lights anyway. So you don't need to install that. Of course, air conditioning. And this one, as I mentioned, has got a nice wide rear camera. Um, glove box. It does have one service record in there at about 40,000 miles. So uh, that was done what, 15,000 miles ago. Uh, it's got cruise control and uh, there's a nice little box up here and as anybody who's looking at these will already know it's got the side visors as well certainly can be useful the uh, steering wheel just very clean audio controls here and it's the um, got the um, the lock nut key for, uh, to uh, protect your alloys um, yeah just very very nice just a lovely car yeah, let's have a look at the engine Turn it off. I think I've covered everything I hope And we'll just go here. And what have we got? And we've got a year and a half old battery, so that's nice. It's uh, don't need to replace that. And as you can see, it's just really, really clean. So maybe I'm saying really too much. It is just lovely. And this color is nice. I like it. The one I have is a black one, but whatever. Didn't have much choice in South Africa. Okay, so here we are. Here's the auction sheet, grade 4.5B, the GSJ15, uh, 2011, 23, uh, <clears throat> figures to 2011. Doesn't say the month, but it's May. May, 90,000 kilometers, 56,000 miles. And, um, really clean uh the a2 on that corner is nothing there is a small soft dent in the roof but it's so small and it's right underneath the roof rack so it really is not uh, uh it's really nothing at all so yeah if you're looking for one of these and you want as good as it gets then i would say this could be yours Yes, on the colors to your liking. And if diff lock is uh, an essential ingredient, ingredient sorry, then uh, this could be the one because we don't get very many. And uh, people do ask for them. We had uh, we had somebody very specifically wanting a specific color, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he wanted diff locks. Now well, we had to pay a, a bit more for the car. Um, but uh, yeah, just a really nice one. And again, if you want uh, alloy wheels, we can source those uh, at an extra cost. And these the standard steel wheels will be shipped inside the car. So you get those as well, which is probably nice because if you're gonna do some off-roading, then uh, you probably want to use these wheels. Again, so 2011 May, with 56,000 miles, grade 4.5. If this car is of interest to you, please do talk to Paul at Japan Auto Agents, and he can w walk you through the process of uh, buying it. And then uh, we can organize the shipping, uh, uh, which has been going very well because we are containerizing right now, and we have container boats leaving every week. And uh, so no problem there, thankfully. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Sorry this has got a bit a little bit long. Um, and bye for now. We are a UK-based personal car import agent trading since 2004. We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. 
this is an opportunity to cherry pick and safely buy the best high grade, low mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. The truth is, the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fits for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? When it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625 560 505 or mobile 07989 560 505. Our email sales at japautoagent.com.